In today's video, we're going over upper extremity dermatomal testing for cervical radiculopathy. Dermatomal testing is useful for either ruling in or ruling out cervical radiculopathy, but it's also good because it can help us figure out which level is potentially involved when someone has cervical radicular issues. Hong et al. in 2022 was looking at patients who are about to go undergo surgery for cervical radiculopathy, and they were trying to see if the pattern of pain, numbness, tingling, and paresthesia matched a typical dermatomal pattern. And what they found is only about 62% of these patients actually match a dermatomal pattern. So dermatomal testing is not gonna be 100% accurate for your patients, but still a decent test that we have clinically. We're going to use a cotton ball in order to test sensation. And the idea is you wanna very lightly touch on the skin. You wanna assess both sides. A positive special test would either be diminished sensation or heightened sensation on the involved side. Okay. In order to assess the C5 dermatome, we're going to go on the lateral side of the shoulder. To assess the C6, we're going to go radial side of the forearm into the thumb. To assess C7, we're going to go middle finger, front or back, right? In order to assess C8, we're gonna go radial sided forearm down to the pinky. And then in order to assess T1, we're going to be at the medial elbow and medial upper arm. C9 dermatome is going to be assessed via a firm touch of the like button to this video, as well as subscribing to the channel. So now you know how to assess dermatomes in your patients that you think might have cervical radiculopathy, but you still need to go over some special tests to improve your clinical examination. So I have a video for you right here in the corner where I go over the best special tests to rule in and rule out cervical radiculopathy. Go ahead and click, and I'll see you on the next one.